Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. Before we go any further, let's look at the numerator. The highest degree is 2, isn't it? And if we multiply these denominator part, the highest degree is going to be 3, isn't it? Now let's go over the basic checklist. Now as we can see that the degree in the numerator is indeed less than the degree in the denominator. As you can see on the top it is 2 and at the denominator it is 3. And one more thing, the quadratic in the denominator, this part is indeed irreducible, cannot be factored out. So now we are going to get started with the partial fraction decomposition. This rational equation could be written as, since this one, the, the over here, this one is z square plus 7. Since this is a quadratic part, so I am going to write down az plus b plus the next one is our linear part is z minus so I'm going to just put down C. And now our task is to find the value of these A, B, and C. This is what we are going to do. Now, as you can see, we have these fractions. We want to remove these fractions. So the very first thing that we're going to do is look at this part over here, this one at the denominator over here we are going to multiply each and every term by this quantity. So I am going to multiply by z square plus 7 times z minus 2 across the board. I'm going to multiply over here as well. z square plus 7 times z minus 2 and likewise over here z square plus 7 times z minus 2 and now we can see that this z square plus 7 cancel with this one this cancels out with this one so we simply ended up with z square minus z minus 13 equal to on this one over here this z square plus 7 cancel with this one so we simply got equal to a z plus b times z minus 2 and then plus over here as you can see that this z minus 2 is gone with this one so we simply ended up c times z square minus z square plus 7 rather so i am going to call this equation as number 1 just keep in your mind and now we are going to use this quick trick it says look for the linear terms in the denominator and we can see that the only linear term in the denominator is this part z minus 2 we are going to write down z minus 2 whatever that thing set it equal to 0 that means z is going to be simply 2 so whatever this z we got we are going to plug it in over here fill in the blank so this is what i'm going to say i'm going to say put z equal to 2 in this equation number 1. So let's go ahead and substitute z equal to 2 in this equation number 1. So that z square means this is going to become 2 square minus z is 2 minus 13. And now look at this part. Since z equal to 2, 2 minus 2 this 2 minus 2 is going to simply become 0. 0 means this whole thing is going to become 0. So we are just going to just put down 0 plus c times 
z is 2 2 square plus 7 so far so good and if we simplify on the left hand side that is going to give us 11 with a negative sign so that's going to be negative 11 and here 2 square plus 7 is going to be 11 so this is going to become 11 c if we divide both side by 11 both side by 11 so we are going to get c equal to negative 1 and we still need to figure out we need to find out a value and b value to calculate those things, we're going to be using this method called equate or compare the coefficient. For that one, let's go ahead and work on this equation number one. So I am going to write this equation number one as on the left hand side, I'm going to leave it z square minus z minus 13 equal to here i'm going to distribute multiply these one over here so that's going to become a z square minus 2 a z all right and then plus b z minus 2 b and over here we're going to distribute as well so that is going to give you c z square plus 7 c and now i am going to combine these z square and then z and constant so i can write on the left hand side is indeed z square minus z minus 13 and here i can write a plus c in parentheses times z square and then i'm gonna write plus b minus 2a times z plus minus 2b plus 7c and here and um, you can see that we have a I can write z square as 1z as square and then 1z. Now let's go ahead and equate these coefficients on both sides. The coefficient on the left hand side for z square is 1 and the right hand side is a plus c. So I can write this one for z square. I'm going to say 1 equal to a plus c likewise over here for z is that the coefficient is negative one and for the z coefficient on the right hand side is b minus 2a so for z part i can write negative one equal to b minus 2a and likewise for the constant part this is negative 13 equal to this constant on the right hand side. I can equate them as well. I can say negative 13 equals to minus 2b plus 7c. Now let's look at this equation 1 equal to a plus c and we know that c equal to negative 1. So I can write this one as 1 equal to a plus c i'm going to substitute negative 1 so that is going to give us a equals to 2 isn't it and now once we figure out a i can go over here in the next equation we know now a equals to 2 i can write as negative 1 equal to b minus 2 time i'm gonna substitute to a equals to 2 over here so that is going to give us negative 1 equal to b minus 4 that means b turns out to be simply 3. 
So thus we have successfully found out the value of A, B and C. And then our partial fraction decomposition simply becomes wherever we see A, I'm going to replace it by 2. Wherever we see B, I'm going to replace it by 3. And wherever we see, we replace it by negative 1. And thus, here is our final product. Here is final answer. Our final answer is partial fraction decomposition. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.